right, so where I would have this at, you essentially say a little bit higher. Where would you? Where, where would I stop if I were you? Man, honestly, I'll tell you what. I need to be. I need all this to be away so I can take a look at this real quick, unbiased. Your level. Only thing I need to see is your level. Where is it at? Um, I can't remember where, which one it was. Um, so right here. Nope, not that one. Okay, this is your level. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted to see. Be on void. All right, so right there. Well, Kylie, man, that makes it super tough on me right there to let you know where. Because you bought here, and now you have a nice, uh, I, I feel like I, I could do further TA on this, honestly. I really see further TA. <laughs> man, this is crazy. Um, yeah, that's a nice little, it's not a channel. It looks like it's just uh, a little bit of a wedge. I guess you could just, it's not even going to call it a wedge. Just call it, you just got hit at resistance. And essentially what happened. And uh, to be honest, man, really? I go to the, I'm on the daily. Let's go to the eight hour chart. Let's go a little more lower. I can get that a little bit more on and show you that probably that's a little closer to all those wicks in there. Well, where did I have that before? Right here, okay, so, hmm, maybe you haven't come into the, uh, I don't know, yeah, I think maybe you came to this level of resistance right here, and, um, it got, st it, it stopped there for a second, that's a tough one, man, so, plain and simple, best bet, I'm going to show you from this absolute low, this, up to this high, you want to see where the 382 is going to hit at. So you're going to find support here at 7% away, okay? And uh, how do I know that? Hey, put a million dollars on it. I just know my Fibonacci levels. So this thing's been on a local uptrend. So why the 382 is important here? So essentially from our low, and you know, we may already be at the 382. If I'm pulling from right here, and everything's all blurry to me right now. I don't know why. I hope, hope it's clear on y'all's screen. Where I pull this from. So from this low, I really do think that um you're gonna come down here. You're gonna you're gonna fall through this 236 in my opinion. You're gonna get to this 382 and if this holds for a couple candles there's further upside. But if the 382 fails um 85% of the time, I think it's like 80% of the time, it goes to the 6.18. Um, so it's 9 more percent down. Definitely take profits now. If you want to hold out further, further for take profit too, the level I would see so your buying was at 17. That means you're still 14% away from there. If you lose a 6.6 right here at 19 cents, again, I don't have the set. I need to put the 8.86 on here as well. Well, good lord. I change everything I said. Hey, just hold until, uh, like I said, set your take profit level to uh, your stop loss to right where you bought it at because you have the fucking 886, excuse my language, right before your level. And that's just awesome because um, this is the last leg. <laughs> you got really lucky in the fact that uh, it went up so high. So if it does happen to lose this 886, um, this is going to sound crazy. I know I said set your stop loss to 17. Um, if you really bought at 17 cents, then that 86 level, you have 2% away from it. I would set it just a little bit below that, possibly to this level where it lasts with that. Because I've seen fake outs happen. Not at 5%. You don't, that's too far. You don't want to take a loss. But definitely to maybe this candle body. Let's see what this is. So here's why I'm telling you to do this. Um... So I'm going a little really in depth. So I'm going to analyze just this small area of volume right here. I'll show something right quick. So you have, okay, wow, okay, that's great. So yes, here's where I would set your, your final take profit level at, at this value area level, this white line. Perfect. Do you, man, do you, this is a great trade for you right now. Take profit now, 
you can let this ride all the way down because something tells me it will get to this 886. And a lot of people are going to be looking to short this, but market makers will come in. Trust me, the 86 and the 786 are known on all coins. They're, they're, they're known to us who know it on Fibonacci that that's the levels that they reverse at. That's the furthest down you can go unless you use a Fibonacci extension. We're not using extensions. And the fact that I mean like one one to one and whatnot. So hella good trade. Set of setting the soft loss to 17. Set it to one six one eight. I'm gonna be precise just for you, buddy. Okay, how does that sound? Just because you are in my group and want you to make bags. Let's see what really we're looking at right here at you. That is um, one six eight four. We'll do one six eight five. Um, Never mind about SL place. Ah, I'm not gonna get tight. To buy and set it to 0.1685. We'll explain later. Great long, by the way. Excellent trade. All right, back at it, back at it, back at it. Got to give props what credit's do. All right, why we're doing that is because, hey, you have a free trade, take your profit now, right? If I told you to take your stop loss at even, something tells me people are going to want to short this when it gets to right around here. And I think it'll reverse at the 86 before it even gets to your buy-in. But you don't want to see it go here and you get stopped out and you feel retarded because, hey, really, this is a high liquidity area for, for market makers to come in. Set your stop loss a little bit lower, right to this value area low, which is a strong level of resistance. You know, so two percent more, and uh, it'd be, how badass would this be if it comes here and you're stopped out? That sucks. But what happens if it comes right here, and market makers are like, "All right, enough. We faked them out enough. Let's long it." And your trade goes all the way back up, and you have another winning trade. Who knows? You know, I've seen it, dude. I have seen trades that I go take profit. One on and have a soft loss to take far away. So we're done. With, we're done with this, by the way. I'm letting you know. And I've seen it go where I just plan on house money and I'll have a even bigger percentage profit because I set my soft loss right. I didn't touch it on take profit too. That may be a mouthful to talk about, but yeah. Anyways, so I, I didn't see any alt shield in here. So y'all are shit out of luck. I'm about to go on the speed run here, and I do mean very very quick TA. So I hope you guys are ready for this. I'm gonna go with what has gotten crushed the most. So, not Serum. I need a, so FTM got killed today. Let's take a look at Sushi. We're gonna look at some longs here. We're gonna go fast. So, I'm gonna show you how I do my TA on a really quick basis. And this feels a little laggy right now. I, just, I kind of just want to reset this real quick if you guys don't mind. I need to restart this. Um, what else can I restart? I feel like something is just bogging me down. I'm not sure. Is this done yet? Done. Do I gotta keep this open? I'm not even sure. I really want to get rid of this. All right, re reopen trading view though, because it was lagging me down for some reason. All right, y'all just hang on for the ride. We go like seven minutes a coin, set levels, roll on. So I'm not sure how much time we have left in this uh thing here. Okay, sushi, sushi, sushi. We'll give you the Bitcoin pairs. All right, so I'm gonna remove everything I have here. Start with close this up here. Okay, starting in levels. All right, speed run. Nothing there. Uh, tap the drawing tool. All right, right here. Let's label them as ours. No, nothing there. Okay. Nothing there. There, there. Locally. No. Okay. Weekly. One weekly there. There. Not there. Above. Hello, daily. Mm, daily here. Oh, not daily. I'm sorry. Not 
daily, not daily. On the top, uh, nice one right here. Okay, sorry, I have to go and mark all these like an idiot. Just so I know what I'm dealing with here. Oops, oops, I'm messing up. Got my drawing tool on. Why does it look like that? Oh, I'm marking levels there. I can already see something right here. I'm not even there yet, but I see a pattern like this. A sushi. I don't know why these aren't getting marked. It's making me mad. Alright. Thought I had those labeled first. Guess not. Okay. I'm gonna go, I'm not even gonna go with the four hour chart. Let's skip that. Those are my levels for now. Pack this what I'm working with. Fibonacci. This is seems to be in this range right. Not to the range. Oh, I need to go lower. Lower because I want to do a trick on this. Mm -hmm. Over here. Okay, there's a value right there. So we find a little level right here. Let's go long for this if we find that. CC support on that, not that one. This impulsive candle give us something. Let's see. Nothing on that impulsive candle. If this one isn't a level, then. Well, well, well. That lines with that. Now I need to just analyze this volume and see if we have something here. I'm not looking at anything locally. I'll say I'm out on it. And maybe this should be down to that. Okay, so we have a value area low right here, this local time frame with the 618. We also have this high term frame value area high coinciding with the bottom of the 60s. Nice support area right here. There's my little rectangle to note this. You know, um, I don't ever have that option on. I used to not have it to the left. That's weird. Anyways, that's a good long area right here for that. Take just, I'm just going to do volume briefly and I'm going to move on. I should give a long and a short for each thing, really. I should. Yeah, you can see not a lot of volume here. Then we get to this area right kind of where it starts. That's good. All right. So set an alert for right above this at. So when I do this, you just double click on that and just do a POS long. And we trade, we don't just enter these trades. We have to go to this level ahead of time, assess the volume. Hey, because this trade, could, it could very easily just do this. And we're screwed. <laughs> it could go, uh, I'm sorry. It could get to this level and be like, oh my God, and you don't want to be <laughs> long there. So we have to open and uh, assess it, see if there's respect, then take it. So that's our long there. Where were we short from? Let's see. Well, we kind of missed the short already, to be honest, but for further upside, I'll tell you. Get rid of this volume, it's annoying me. Yeah, I kind of miss it. Uh, I wouldn't be, uh, um, not much uh, stuff looking after a short. Maybe, um, this pulse up here. Tell you what, right above it, I'm gonna be looking for that. So if I can find something with this, then I'm good. And uh, look at that confluence with our strong SR level there, right at the 618. Incredible. So I'm on the Bitcoin chart. So uh, what we have to do here, guys, is um, I guess I can do this um, annually. I wonder if, how I can go about doing this. It's a bad habit for me to have, but I don't know if it offers, it offers this on the, uh, Okay, perfect, it does. So you just go to coin stats if you want. GT. Uh, oh, it's not letting me. Oh, right here. So we're just gonna type in this Satoshi number right here. So, cause it's in stats. So let's use your eight, two, one. That's what we have to do. And I can tell you. Oops, missing a zero. All right. So dollar forty one, that's what sushi is, correct? If I'm not mistaken. Sushi in real time. Where is it at? Yeah, so it'd be a dollar like it says a dollar forty one. One from right at the right level. Oh, that's what the price is there though. Sorry. 
my trailer is for a 16 probably that's just to open up and assess that the real trade is where do I have it at real trade is this area so middle of the champion channel a12 so I'm trying to give you all trades and I forgot I meant to you so dollar 39 well you know and uh the, ideally 809 is your 66 that's um your best bet for a long there the lower the better which would be you know I guess dollar 39 cool so for the upside where this cha the channel is on our SR we'll go back to our high time frame for a, a so how I got this I know it's my chart is probably super hard to see right now struggling getting stuff in range my mouse is going crazy I'm gonna go fucking monthly yeah okay and I don't I'm gonna just get rid of all these other horizontals now because we don't need them just, I just need to look at this last one okay sorry just having a hard time seeing shit okay cool cool I don't even need this in here anymore I spent too long on this one. I normally just go on, go on. I fucking spent too long. All right, perfect from this range. So, yeah, I would take a short really at. I wonder if it's this candle. Either or. So maybe the top of the six one eight, one one five zero. Let's just say. So that is. Wait, where's it? Um, just way too long. Um, one one three five better for me so 19 cents that's cool that's a nice round figure I wonder what 20 cents is I wonder if 228 is 20 cents that's a psychological what did I say it was one two two eight so what would be 20 cents Hmm. Got this. I gotta know. <laughs> I gotta know what the psychological level is. I really do. That drives me crazy. One. I need this in fucking Bitcoin. Son of a bitch. Calculate it. Can't calculate it? Hell. You my name, uh, oh, well, shit, F it, F it, F it, it's going on, guys, it's going on, this level is tw 20 cents, short at 20 cents, enough sushi, I'm going to go to, let's go to 8, let's start fresh, and 8, okay, high turn frame now, okay, nothing there yet, weekly, Got a monthly level right here. This level is strong. Look at that bitch. You can't get across that. Monthly. Also, with this monthly. We have one way up top. Hold the smart. You know it's never going there anytime soon. How far away we are. 39%. Still nothing. Might as well pull a range full volume here. Okay, let's go to the weekly. Okay, that's already been tapped on that one. We have that one there. Okay, yeah, this level is strong here. We'll take note to this. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and not even label that one. We'll do a horizontal line right here. I do this from time to time. I use a, a setting called key that's level for me that I put uh, alerts right before. So I'm going to set my alert at this monthly. Probably just before the monthly. Hold on. I just want to take note of this level because this is a strong short level. Uh, how do I know? I've just been doing this so long. So look, look at this in respect to the wick right here. Coming over, coming over, almost touching, but not closing above this for one week, two weeks, four weeks. Okay, and we haven't, and so basically it has not crossed this key line yet. Will it flip to, to support if breaking? Yeah, who knows? But for the time being, it's been rejected. So just wanted to take note to tell you guys that for a second. Let's go to the daily. It's also, hmm, it's kind of far away, but I want to give trades for people who want to trade like right now and I intraday trade a lot so um okay just these over right here okay would I be a buyer of this anytime soon let me take a step back a little bit 
Come up to this level. Looks like it got rejected. I bet you if you, this is a... So if we analyze this volume from here to here, I bet you the value area high or low of this range is right where it got rejected at. Damn near. So the value area low. Why we couldn't break back into this on one, two, four different days? Um, and oh, I got further to go. Sorry. Watch. Probably more on point right there. And there we have. Look at that. Look at this white line at the bottom. What this is is the value area. Let me get this a little more prominent. So you can see. <clears throat> Maybe it's better. So this volume, um, for this area right here, this is where volume moves between. So this, uh, it's an area of resistance. If it's below, it's, it's also support as well. And it flips. But uh, when I'm looking for a price action coming to my right, I look at my history and I find where this volume, there's no, there's no coincidence that it got rejected at that thing because um, volume is just, Buyers and sellers deem that it's not, it's not, uh, it's a good price to sell it right now. So it's going to have to come through that. If we do break that, then, you know, I think so for it to be, let's see, we we'll take this right here. Right and we're just looking for confluences on that. I think the next best one would be, well, look, <laughs> look at that shit. That's about as perfect as it comes right there. How far away is that? I love technical analysis. Wow. That's great. So yeah, there's our confluence right there. And really, truly, we can actually, that could be our pull right there. Just need to take a look at volume. Yeah, I would definitely be, yeah, I would short this right now. If it gets up to this again, uh, you know, I would definitely hit your short right there. Because locally, um, let's see what it's been doing. Yeah, buyer is, is yeah, it's, it's, it's out of its element right now. Doesn't need to be there, does it? Does not need to be there, to be honest with you. It's going to go down further. That's my opinion. So short at, uh, let's do the 618, right at $4.15. That's what I would do, personally. All right, let's take a random one. L Litecoin. What we got? Have I done this chart before? Not sure. Hmm. I'm going to, if I see stuff, I'm going to go, I'm going to start marking levels. But if I don't see anything, I'm not going to do anything. So I just need to see some areas. I don't want to hold up too much time. Okay, I see some there. It's nice. Monthly level here. So, fuck that, dude. In the middle of this Pomodoro, I'll fucking dare you. No. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> fucking movie is that, dude? Wolf of Wall Street? We're not fucking leaving. We're not done yet. We're gonna get we're gonna get a quick light coin in, and um, this won't take long. A monthly support right there. It look, we've been in range this whole time. Looks like to me. I don't know. I think I, I've just been really good at like identifying ranges without even pulling them yet. I can just kind of see shit. I'm not saying that to be weird. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. Oh, come on, get rid of that. Parallel channels is what I'm talking about, sorry. Doop. Okay. Just it's all about finding that. This thing has technically been in range this whole time. And you, you your piano bias can be outside the range too, by the way. Um, because there's always deviations. You know, just the midpoint needs to be the midline needs to be respected, really. That's an even better one there. Hmm. Maybe this is more local right here. As a matter of fact, I'm too far out. F the range for that one. Right here. We just need to see something to the downside. And I think that should be... I need to be on the daily right here. Zoom in a little bit more time frame. Let's see. There she is right there. Let's wonder if we go even higher to that way. Doubt it. I like it where it is. Oh, uh, the downside. I didn't see that. We missed out on that one. What was this? Six fifteenth. Mm, maybe. Maybe even. Uh, 
high right there. Yeah, I'm too high on the on the high end right here. That's what I'm too high on. Boy, everyone's talking to Litecoin, but it's to me, it struggled. Midpoint respect right there, in my opinion. It struggled to get through it. So it did break through it. I would short Litecoin right now, personally. How far away is that? that? I mean, we really missed it though. Been nice because what would would have been badass is we get to this range, I would have shorted this right here. And I bet we already got rejection. Watch, if I pulled the Fibonacci from all the way to this impulsive, I bet you this is, oops, my dumb one. I look at the top of this range, you'll see that this 6.6 six is probably the top of uh, where it was right there. If that's not the one, then oh, it's going to be the top of the range. Oh, well, maybe, uh, I'm telling you. There, that impulsive. Yep. So if you volume, and how, why I'm pulling this volume up is I just have to assess most volume. If I'm doing the right pull on here, how much was this? 157,000 there. Hey, look at that one right there. All right, last pull is right there. If we have influence with this, if you can find a uh, value or high, low of that, then we're going to be pretty happy. I want to check out just a high term frame. Too high a term frame. Too much. Nothing on there. Mm, may have missed that short. That's like going for you, though. I don't know. I would short that right there still. I still would short that. I mean, how far are we? 7%? Put that on 2x leverage. I would write that all the way down at this value here at 60, 67. Uh, personally, that's me. Anyways, my breaks. I'm running out of break time. I gotta go. Shit. We're gonna stop the live stream. Continue all, all phantom. Um, so you bought it 17 cents. So what we're doing here is this is the oldest one right here. Go to the, my, the yearly level. Okay, make sure I'm on the oldest one. My pink one certainly stand for the oldest one. My Red ones are Bitcoin, blue or Bybit, so yeah. So Phantom right here, let's go oldest. Uh, what do we have, what do we have? Get rid of all this stuff. But it's 17 cents, let's go ahead and uh, find where that's at. You did say it was 17 cents, right? Check this. Oops. Yep, 17 cents. Okay, I'm make sure. 17 cents. Okay. Bye. Okay, just had to notate where you bought it. All right, so, <laughs> did you buy a nice one? Are you bullshitting me, bro? You're, you're not certain if it was a good buy? You bought the bam, fucking bottom of that, bro. Very nice. Let's see. Uh, you uh, you play it. Hey, you bought that, you did good. Let's see. <laughs> we'll do some TA here. Three months level. Um, let's see. No, three months. One down here, but really pointless, but epic. Do it anyways. Quarterly right here. Uh, I might as well put one up there as well. Okay. Uh, while I'm at it, hey, don't this down one. Okay, so one month. One month here. Wow, that's a fucking strong influence there. Um, local monthlies, untapped. Oh, wow, yeah, right there, just above it. I'll be down, okay. Uh, that's probably going to be a nice, unsuspecting level for most people. Am I screen recording? I think I am. Okay. Um, yeah, so another monthly untapped, way down here. Tap perfectly. Oh, well. Okay, so no, no more recent monthlies. Weekly, 
Oh yeah, nice right here. Not tapped just yet. More of the upside right here. I thought I changed this, but I guess I didn't. I don't know why I have all caps on. Bears me for one moment. Probably hard people to see my prices. There you go. I, was, I had this optimized for my phone. Less cluttered stuff, but uh, it's a nice live stream. So we're going to go ahead and save this for the people that everyone see properly. All right, so two weeklies right here. Yeah. Where we're at currently. 11% away. Hmm. Okay. Eight to this downside right here. What is this? 17. Uh, no more downside on daily. Let's see. Okay. Um, so I'm looking for around there. You bought it. Yeah, look right here. I have a daily level. Oh, not a daily. I apologize. I'm wrong. Okay. Um, so I'm looking for some support for you right there. Right here, ah, trick me again. I'm not, it's not daily because it's not live. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's just not okay. Oh, well, there she be right here. It almost doesn't line up. Yep, yeah, I'll be down. But there's a whip to the left, which, you know, that's respected. We're going we're gonna to go with that one. Okay. Um, so, you bought it right there, huh? Well, hell, dude. That was a nice long one getting there. What made you take that? That's good. I wonder. So, you're thinking if there's further upside, or should you get out now? I'm assuming it should be... The, question you're probably asking yourself should I take my profits Look at another daily right here that's a good level it's nicely respected I like that level hmm. yeah that's a good level let's see let me try something out quick Let me take it from this one all the way over here. This low. Now since I'm over here, I gotta go to the high of this and see. Yeah, it doesn't matter right there. You know what I didn't do? I didn't do this. Forgive me. Let me try this out. I'm gonna take an overall Fibonacci. From the very bottom of this. Up to the high. See what I have here. Okay, nothing there. What about this one, nothing there. Um, okay, I'm on the 12th. If we don't find one, that's a three month. Hopefully, we find one in the monthly. My candle above here. Let me start over. This, because we're looking for your supports right here. Huh, yeah, nothing there for, for me to really be like, okay, that's the, uh, you know, because I, I, that's a nice, uh, to post me right there. There you go. Maybe this weekly will give us a little, shed a little light on where we were. Running out of options, and that's one of them right there. Hmm. Typically, we go to the CC. Looks like a test of that. Yeah, because this is really nice. This is a really nice impulsive candle here. Um, I wonder how much. Why is it showing my volume? So much volume was on this one. 
934. 1.89 billion on this candle, good lord. Uh, I'm gonna do the, um, let me do the three day level. Because I think I can narrow this candle down a little bit. I'm not making a lot of sense here. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking out loud in my own head. Here we go, so. Ah, better do two day level. It's more, it's more even. So, and the pulse of candle. Damn it, Bobby! <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, dude, you couldn't have picked a better time. I mean, uh, that's a great level. Look at our volume right here. So, if we we're on the two day, I bet you I was on the daily. I'm just a fan of the two day because of the compacting timing. So, you have 285 million. Transacted at that, which so why I'm measuring that is this is where I start our Fibonacci. A lot of times we go either by the low, the low, or the most impulsive. A lot of the times there's no real rule, but most of the time impulsive or low. And this is the most impulsive candle for this range, lining up with the volume at the bottom. You know, wow, awesome, 705 million. Excuse me, I said it very well. And look at that 618 at that level, just. Sitting fat and sassy. Per, I mean, re fuck expected. You know what I'm saying. So, my opinion, bro. Great profit since then. You bought it at this level. Okay. Take profit one now. Not your whole bag, but GTFO out of 50, 40 to 50 percent. That's just my opinion. My financial advice. While you're there, if you haven't taken any profit yet. I mean, dude, take, take partial. You got to pay yourself as a trader. That's how we get paid. Take profits. Uh, my opinion on that. So, great buy-in. Yeah. Strong level of resistance here. Haven't even done the volume pull. Let's see where the volume of pull lines up at on the high term frame. Okay, so analyze this volume just a little bit. Wow, the big area high is right there. Let's extend this over, though. Extended, so nothing there. So, do, 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 do. how about we pull from right here? So, this range is a ton of volume down there, so I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna start a new range. Get rid of this one. And I'm gonna start literally from here to here. Okay. I'm not gonna include that impulse, so this is where I'm gonna stay at. Well, I'll be damned. Yeah, where it's at, and this is so. Fucking interesting. I mean, now I told you to take profit, and I'm seeing just a really nice, um, hmm. I'm seeing just a really nice, I mean, it's the point of control is supporting, uh, it's supporting price right now. What can I say? I don't even know what to tell you on that, um, because it's above this point of control, you know, where price is now. I'm gonna go a little low time. I'm gonna see how long it's road this point of control or how long it's been above it. Me to do that, I gotta back up so trade view has a freaking glitch where you gotta back up. You can see that little line as I'm moving along. I'll we'll never get there on the 30 minute chart though, maybe on the one hour. Let's see what happens. Come on, this is ridiculous. Trade view needs to fix this, bro. I'm sorry, it annoys me when I, when I want to analyze this on them. Still not far enough. We can't go that far enough for it to even sink with it. Crazy, dude. There. Oh, my God. Here you go. The four-hour chart just to analyze where it's at. That's so great. So, there's our really range. Zoomed in. Jeez. Um, a lot of confluence on that. <laughs> and uh, funny enough, so over here is what I'm looking at. So the point of control, this is yellow line, right? orange line right here. Probably hard to see. We'll, we'll make it uh, quite a bit easier to see. Um, how about we make it having this? There we go. So this is the most volume transacted. This range support broke through, came back, tested. It's not resistance. Tested again. Boom. So we have a, a history of. This flipping supports, boom, nice longs, nice longs, nice longs. Oh, we fell through. Okay, 
<clears throat> and then we also have comes up, tests his resistance, doesn't get through. Scam wick finally breaks through. Now it's flipped to support. Okay, comes through. Um, <laughs> look at this beautiful fake out here. You know, Short's got their asses whipped on this one. Like, oh, yeah, we're falling through, and psych, we're going up impulsively. So, fake out. There's, there's been a clear sign of SR flips on this. And uh, look what we did here. This was four, within four hours here. Okay. So, this blew through. We tested this. It flipped here. We broke through yesterday. Okay. Right at the daily open. And so, now, it's struggling in a... If I try to gain acceptance back in our local range... And, um, I don't know, I just see if that, that looks right to me, sort of. I'm trying to analyze this line and see where we have. If I have a point of, um, oops, got this all wrong. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Give me one second. Let me just say this the wrong way. Okay. Two, two blue lines are about here, high and low. Struggled there. I wonder what um, this is like. Okay, hold on. That's good enough for me. So just this fine here. Yeah, that's what stopped. So you can tell this point, this value area low of this range. And what I just did there was, I just wanted a specific time frame. And so, uh, well, that's almost perfect right there. Okay, so if we're doing volume uh, pulls and all that, and looking, you can analyze past volume areas just by where you start the, and pull them, you know, and whatnot. But if we have this option on, the extend right, it's going to always go all the way over. And we don't want that. So I just made a new template for that. But so this is holding you down right here. The man's holding you down at that level. If I have another level of some Fibonacci's, let's take a look. And watch, it's gonna be probably exactly to the six six. So there we are right there. And uh, I know we got a lot of pink out there. It's probably hard to see. We'll make this. Um, make this. Well, I don't know what. How does this look? Can you, everyone see this? Hopefully. Sometimes charts can be really annoying. Let's see. So rejection at the six six. Excuse me. At the uh, right there. And really. This area of volume didn't count here because it's real tedious with the um, where you start and stop at. Important to know. I need to include that one, and I need to include this other stuff too. Definitely here because we also have this because this stuff there is a range as well, you know. Either way, confluence and strong low here. So, to find out how much volume is right there, how can we get a better look at that? Oh, yeah. And you know, we have all this history to our left. And honestly, I don't know if it's going to go higher or not. It's going to be a lot resting on Bitcoin and stuff. Man, that's, that's it's hard to tell. Definitely take profit in one right now, though. Um, so, let's look for some support right here on FTM. Yeah. Let's see this impulsive from here. That. Um, we do have a uh, we're at four hour level here. We, okay, so we just came to a nice four hour level right here. Untapped yet, so essentially, you have that to the upside. They tried tapping that, so we have a four hour there. Something tells me, good old Fibonacci from here. Is probably perfectly in line with it. Yep, you can see to the fucking dollar. I mean, I guarantee you this is about as close as you can get. That's why I love the CC. I mean, 0.11%. It tried making this way up there. God bless its soul. Did not, uh, in fact, uh, hit it. So, so that also stopped. It looks like the. Actually, this is really not a uh, strong four hour. You can see that it did. Cl uh, We'll keep it. We'll keep it. We're not going to keep it. We're going to go by our rules here. So, overhead. 
Here's how here's how I do the pants right here. I do two things. I like the 30 minute chart. This is me personally for the time being. Probably a long term trader, but for what I would do. Okay, I don't need this right here. So this area of volume right here. I'm sorry, I'm talking to myself. Yeah, so looking back over here, look at this width over here. And we're just going to keep going all the way over. And look where we are here for this area of support. So just essentially what happened. I mean, you can see that like this little area. I think I went too far there. Oops. This area is going to support it. That's what I'm Same thing, good enough. So we have this area here. <clears throat> also, just aligns with it, you know? So for us to lose this level, it seems to be extended. Has it fallen below? It may have lost, it may have fallen below. I would, I would, uh, I'll tell you in the group right now. 